Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2020 Haverford College Women's Tennis Virtual Senior Day. Today we honor the outstanding careers of three individuals who've excelled both on the court and in the classroom as true student-athletes for the Fords. On the court, this class has helped Haverford compile a 34-23 record, including a 23-7 mark in Centennial Conference play over the past four seasons. That success includes three Centennial Conference tournament appearances and just the program's second-ever appearance in the conference championship match during the 2018 season. During that historic campaign, this class was also part of a team that captured the program's first-ever national ranking. Each of these three senior student-athletes have also thrived in the classroom, with each earning ITA Scholar-Athlete honors and being selected to the Centennial Conference Academic Honor Roll multiple times throughout their careers. That goes along with the team's success of being recognized as an ITA all-academic team during each of the last four seasons. Our first senior is Clara Ferhi. Coming to Haverford from Ann Arbor, Michigan, Clara is a team captain who was recently honored as the William W. Ambler Class of 45 Award recipient for having the highest cumulative GPA among all senior student-athletes at Haverford. Also the 2019 Centennial Conference Scholar-Athlete of the Year, Clara won 60 matches during her career between singles and doubles and earned all conference accolades in doubles last year. She was also a four-time ITA Scholar-Athlete and three-time honoree on the Centennial Conference Academic Honor Roll. Claire will graduate from Haverford with a major in chemistry, concentrating in biochemistry. And now we will hear from some of her teammates about the impact Clara has made on Haverford women's tennis. Clara is everything you could hope for in a senior. She's nice, she's fun, she's caring, she's responsible, and she's one of those people that you know will be there for you if you need anything. Even when I'd ask her to study or do work in the same room with me just because her presence helped me do work, she would always say yes. She's really just the best and Clara, I will miss you so much next year. Clara is everything that you could hope for in a teammate. She's hardworking, motivated, and incredibly kind. Being on the team with her for the past three years has been an incredible experience and I know we're going to miss her dearly next year. She was always making sure that everyone on the team felt welcome and made sure to check in with everybody. No one was insignificant to her. If there's one thing I've learned about Clara, it's that the only thing below average about her is her ankle flexibility. We'll miss you, Clara. Clara has to be one of my favorite people at Haverford. It is well known that she's hardworking and determined on and off the courts, as you can tell by her amazing achievements like winning the Ambler Award, but she's also really fearless. One funny thing about Clara is that she loves to burp loud and long on the court and she isn't afraid or embarrassed of anyone, especially our opponents, hearing her. But what truly makes her special is that she is selfless, caring, and non-judgmental. She is the definition of a true role model. Clara, you have dramatically changed all of our lives. You are an amazing player, leader, and friend. I know you will succeed in whatever you do, but I'm truly going to miss having you around. Thank you for being you, and good luck in your next journey. Our next senior is Mima Kazanoff. Mima joined the Haver College women's tennis team from Jersey City, New Jersey. Looking to crack a talented lineup, Mima certainly seized every opportunity she had in the varsity lineup with nine career wins to her credit. Mima dominated the Centennial Conference with a 6-0 record in those matches and posted a career-high five wins during a breakout junior season on the court. Off the court, Mima was a two-time ITA Scholar-Athlete and two-time representative on the Centennial Conference Academic Honor Roll. Mima will graduate from Haverford with a degree in economics, while she also maintained a Russian minor and a neuroscience minor. And now, we will hear from some of her teammates about the inspiration that Mima brought to the Haverford College women's tennis team over her four years. Mima was a great example of how to put in the work both on and off the court. I really enjoyed having her as a teammate and leader my first year on the team, especially as we got closer during our last time all together at spring break. I wish her the best of luck after graduating and hope to see her again soon. So this isn't a goodbye, this is a thank you for being an amazing friend both on and off the tennis court. You have been such a role model for me and you've helped me in so many more ways than one. And I really just want to thank you for that, and I'm going to miss you. And 
I really want you to know that I enjoyed every second of getting to know you. And every minute that we played doubles together was really precious to me. And short as it was, I think we had a lot of fun and we had really good chemistry too. Um, so I just want to say thank you. And I'm going to miss you and you're going to do great um, wherever you go. See you later, Mima. I'm so incredibly glad to have been on the tennis team with Mima for the last three years as her tenacious, bubbly, and spirited personality has added so much joy to our team. Mima is incredibly outgoing and her extremely pleasant disposition makes it easy for anyone to become her friend. We can definitely thank Mima for raising our social clout as a team since she's always finding ways for us to bond with the rest of the athletic community. Mima has personally inspired me and so many people around her with her passion and drive for academic success. And I'm so incredibly proud to be able to call her one of my close friends. Thank you so much for dedicating so much time to our team and being a loyal friend and teammate for so many years. I'm so excited to see where post-grad life takes you and Goldman Sachs is super lucky to have you. We're gonna miss you a lot on the team next year, memes. Love you. Our final senior is team captain Emily Shutman. Emily came to Haverford from Huntington, New York and stepped right into the lineup at number one singles during her first year on campus. After an impressive debut season, Emily was named an Ellis Centennial Conference performer for both singles and doubles during her sophomore and junior seasons. In her abbreviated senior season, she was poised for her strongest year yet as she had already twice been named the Centennial Conference's Player of the Week. Emily finished her career with 70 combined victories and was a three-time ITA Scholar Athlete and three-time selection to the Centennial Conference Academic Honor Roll. And now we will hear from some of her teammates about the legacy Emily has left for the Haven for College Women's Tennis Program. If you know Emily, then you know that she's such a hardworking and dominant individual on the court. You know this because you have seen her slam her racket into her forehead out of frustration even when she was winning or you've seen her stats. But if you know her off the court, then you know she is so goofy, happy, and fun to be around. One of my favorite things about Emily is her amazing ability to tell a story. Almost every day of practice, she would come in with another funny story about something or someone in her life, and it would make us all laugh so hard. Oftentimes, these stories would be embarrassing tales about her experiences at Haverford. From listening to her recount the time that she fell off her bike on the road to the apartments, or the time she ran out of Diva Curl on our spring break trip, her stories never cease to make us laugh and make our time with the team joyous and fun. So Emily, thank you for being an amazing team member and a great friend. Knowing you these past three years has made my experience at Haverford and on the tennis team so special and exciting. Emily, I'm so proud of all you have achieved so far and I can't wait to see what comes next. It won't be the same without you and I'll definitely miss hearing your stories every day. Hi Emily, uh, I miss you. I'm sad our season got cut off early, kind of before all of it. Um, but I had a really fun first year. A lot of it was thanks to you. You're a great captain and teammate and friend and tennis player, of course. And you just made practice more fun and I was always so excited to go. Um, so I'm gonna miss you next year and every other year after that. Um, but I'm excited to see you for Alumni Day and hopefully visit you in New York. So yeah, bye. Being Emily's doubles partner for the short season we had, I got to know her better not only as a player, but as a person. As a player, her perseverance is admirable and her passion for the game is evident. Even though we were both pretty serious and hot-tempered people on the court, playing together was always a fun experience and was guaranteed to be filled with laughter. Emily, I know I'm not the most sentimental person, but I really am going to miss you. It won't be the same without you. Ladies and gentlemen, how about one last round of applause for the Haverford College Women's Tennis Class of 2020. Congratulations to Clara, Mima, and Emily for all of their accolades and achievements, along with one final thank you for the impact they left on the program that will continue to stay with the team long after their graduation.